Do you ever feel inspired to build something that was in a video game that you never played, and then, instead of just building it how it was in the video game, put it in an entirely different time period from the same universe? This is kind of what happened here. So, I decided to build a saber tank, which is from Battlefront, but I never played Battlefront. So I basically just took some pictures from Google and then rebuilt them in Imperial Colors to make an Imperial Saber Tank, which I believe, based on my research, was never actually really in-game, especially not in the Republic style, which is what I built it in. Anyway, the major thing I wanted to accomplish when I was building this was to get all of the angling right so that it would look good, and one of the ways I did this was using some reverse stud technique um, for making the front part there, and also angling different things like the cockpit and the fins. The minifig comes out, and is interesting thing about the circular piece there is you can stick the hips of the minifig through it. You can't stick the torso through, so you can actually put the hips through and then connect the torso on top and it will be stuck in place. And so that's a very interesting way to get your minifig like halfway out of a hatch like that. So for the main front there, it's actually hollow inside, it doesn't have much detail, but uh, the sides are all angled with different slope pieces and different brackets to get the detailing for like the windows in front. Then to get them all to line up, there's another piece with a couple of cheese wedges using again the reverse stud technique with that uh, bracket piece and it just slides right down into the middle and then basically finishes off the mock and makes it look polished even though it really isn't that polished but it makes for a nice aesthetic without actually completing all of the interior detail. Front is then finish off, finished off with a little shield that holds, holds the front laser cannons for the trooper on top to operate and it just fits on top of the cheese slopes and then is completed by adding the bit where the trooper is coming out and a shield with the turret. The wings on the side are made with uh, various slope techniques as well as just clipping tiles uh, into clips to get that angled tile pattern on the back there. And then the cannons are very simple, just like a Minecraft or a Nexonite shield, and that slopes um, attached to them, and it just studs right in and has a little bit of swivel in it. And the forward wings are basically just stacked plates, so they're really simple. So I think it looks pretty good for what it is. I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments and um, for improvements. And don't forget that there are free instructions for this in the description so that you can build it yourself.